Tonight we take a closer look at the history behind African American barber shops and the impact they have made over the years. A news reporter Josh Landon has the story. It doesn't matter the day or time. When you walk into Celebrity Chateau Barbershop, you will hear plenty of buzz. Willie Valentine comes to the barbershop twice a week. Fresh look, man. In the African American community, the barbershop is far more than just a place to get a fresh haircut. Man, there's something left in the game. That was a game. The barbershop is a sanctuary for African Americans. For the 15 or 20 minutes it takes to cut someone's hair, the barber and customer open up to each other about their own lives. You know, you might have a problem, I might have a problem. We sit and communicate amongst each other. Yeah, communicate. The prominent role barbers play in the African American community can be traced back to slavery. Men who knew how to cut hair were considered an asset to slave owners. It was a skill set that they had that would be carried forth to uh, the next person via sale. So those are labels for members. Dr. Maureen Algersman Lee is a historian at the Black History Museum and Cultural Center of Virginia. She says once freed, those who became professional barbers and were lucky enough to open their own shops rose to a level of prominence. Those who owned property, those who had businesses, those who were who were ministers, that those people tended to um, be the people who moved ahead as leaders. According to the book titled Black Owned, African Americans had a big chunk of the country's service establishments by 1939. 40% were African-American barbershops and beauty parlors. This industry paved the way for many African-Americans to become entrepreneurs in their community. It's a culture that exists in the historic African-American community of Jackson Ward. At one point during the early 1900s, this area was called the Black Wall Street of Richmond. And today, many black-owned businesses, including barbershops, are still vibrant. One of the oldest barbershops in town is Harvey's. And I've been through ups and downs and various types of situation, but I just held on and uh, I'm still here. Franklin Harvey Sr. opened his first barber shop in Richmond in 1961. During that time, most businesses, including barber shops, were segregated. I wanted to do something for my race and that's why I opened up the barber shop in a black community for blacks. And it's always has been open for everybody. Now I'm retired, Mr. Harvey's legacy is still a strong force. He attributes his accomplishments to his loyal customers. You must love your customers, respect them, and do all you can for them. A mindset that lives on in the new generation of African American barbers. To me, it's artistic. God gave me these hands to make people look good, and that's what I want to do. And for customers like Willie, a fresh look gives him extra confidence. Be able to, you know, look in the mirror and you, you know, say, hey, I'm ready for the day. Josh Landon, 8 News.